A few years ago I decided to buy Narrowboat and travel around this beautiful country of England. I sold everything up and I gave away most of my things so I could downsize into this thin metal tube. I decided to film it at the end so why don't you uh, put your feet up and join me as I travel around this country of ours. I think I need this one and that one, not sure. Probably this one. Oh, there's that one. So just twist it and it pops out. Not too bad. Right, let's crack on. So that bar's come back now, it allows that to come up a lot. See that? It's anti vandal. Well, this is the top of Wolverhampton. So, me and our Leon are about, around about here now, top of these locks, Wolverhampton, which is here. As you can see there, look. Right in the centre. Fisherman. And we're going to be doing silver propeller challenges, which is Bradley workshops. Uh, Walsall, Walsall Town Art Basin there. Um, there's one up there at Cannock Extension, right at the end of there. This is all dependent on, um, there's one down here on Alderbury Locks, down here. Oh, what's that about the crease? <coughs> These maps aren't very good. One down there at Alderbury. Where is it? Where do you see it? There. It's one down here. Um, get to the end of there, get a picture. Where else is there? So there's one there, one up there. Bradley Shops stops. There's one here at Southern Portal. I think it's this side of the. I think it's there. Not there. So I think this might be closed. I'm not sure. Dudley Tunnel is 3,000 yards away. There's one there on the leak branch. I mean, look at all those. He wants to do all them. That's insane. And look, it's just lock after lock. Um, Southern Portal, that one. So I think at least we're going to do, I think there might be one there. We can do, I'm going to go up and do that one and come down here and do this one no actually we're going to do this one first and then we'll come down here and do this one then we're going to come back up here and do that one then we're going to assess whether we do that one or not if not we're going to come back i'd rather go back that way and come back out it looks like some really nice lakes and some really that Canuck extension looks a really nice sort of um, Greenland area, you know. We're gonna let's get the first one out of the way, which is this one. And we'll see how we go from there, Rippers. Well, this is the mooring here, look. I'm just going to Aldi. I think it's down there somewhere. Have a quick look in the town centre. Looks very interesting. And this dismal day. Little gyms here, look. Little, little gym there, little gym there, look. Oh, sweet. There we are. Look at the high street there. It's an old building here, look. Where that used to be. Lighthouse Cinema and Calf. Ooh, hey. There's a really interesting story about the name of Wolverhampton and it begins in 985 when a Saxon lady named Wolf Aruna was given land at Heenton. In 994 she founded a Minster Church and that's a church with a monastery attached. The settlement by the monastery grew larger and in time its name changed to Wolfrana's Heenton later to Wolverhampton. It's a fascinating isn't it? it? Really is. And they have a beautiful tram system in uh, Wolverhampton as well. They've got all the shops you can eat. It's a fabulous place to visit.
there's a fabulous shopping centre here and, it, and it's it's called Wolf Rum. I imagine it's named after the the lady that was named Wolf Rama's Wolf Runa uh, of Hinton. If that's pronounced right, I'm not sure. But it's got to, it's a brilliant place to uh, have a look around and spend all your money. Primark. Lovely. I always, I always like to visit the uh, game shops, see if there's any bargains in there. Even at my age, you know, nearly 90, I still play on my PS4 from time to time. Pushing on, I don't have any real destination. Just a meandering, wandering feeling. My trip to Aldi soon turned into a sightseeing mission. It's a cracking little city, Wolverhampton is. The moorings are actually not far from the Wolverhampton football stadium and the very next day there was a big match on so we got off before that match started because you know what it's like when they finished if they lose oof, eh? with the development of the Staffordshire coal and ironstone deposits Wolverhampton became known for its metal manufacturers especially from the late 18th century a wide range of products is produced today including paints and rubber tyres, as well as the output of the metal foundries. Amazing history here, look, isn't there? Blimey, look at this. Beautiful little section. Isn't it? Wow. I wasn't looking forward to this trip to this part of the world because I'd heard stories about the canals being rough and the areas being rough but I thought this city centre was absolutely fantastic and well worth a visit. This is Chubb and Son. Wow, Chubb Locks. Lock and Safe Company. Oh, wow. Urgh, fabulous. Chubb Street. Oh, wow, that's even better. You got your big chub fish. Yeah, even better. This must have been the old loading area for this basin. Wolverhampton Basin here, not. We're going to go past there. Take like a more down there, I wonder. Extra parking. Keep. There's the old working areas, look. Oh, but you could more down there, couldn't you? It's noisy there though, bloody hell, that is a noisy place. Screaming at three in the morning. Ugh, I don't think so. I was get back, got me shopping. It's the same as local right next to us. Get back and have a coffee rip this. Enough walking. Well here we go, this is the journey down to Bradley Arm. And um, we've got facilities on the right here, you've got water, showers, Ooh. and they sell buckets, that's handy, I need a bucket. This is, this is a noisy place this is, oh god last night. It's, that's a noisy mooring, all you can hear is trains and cars, it's just a noisy junction. Oh look at this lot, boaters, facilities, Wolverhampton Broad Street. Well, 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 Mr Anderson. And you can moor here, look. The moorings, hey, fantastic. This side's all right because there's no footfall. Nobody can get down here. Oh, people on that don't want more that side. Who paid me? You know what I mean? Not outside that bar at three in the morning. And I saw your window. Hello, let me in. Can you let me in? 
It's not your house, mate. And, uh, and, uh, come on, I need somewhere to sleep. Let me go. F off. All right. So far, Wolverhampton is absolutely superb. The city centre is, is just amazing. We've got the old. Ooh, it's Aldi nearby, Sandy. You know what we got to do? Oh, I forgot to get that prop of my prop. Oh, I will! Lovely tunnel. I just remembered I got some crap on my prop. Oh. I'll try and make it to Bradley. Oh, it's just so much harder on the boat, though, isn't it? Kingfisher Narrowboats Wolverhampton. Well, well, where's the where's the narrowboat? I think it's closed. Looks very abandoned. Oh, what a shame if it is. What a shame it is abandoned. Look, what a shame it really is. There's an old caravan in there. Look, beautiful cottages, beautiful houses there. Look. This must be that junction there, this just junction. Did he nail me? Nails a filthy lot. Do wash and shower at night, it's just never get clean. He always doing the fire or something, never get clean hands. That's that junction there. We're gonna go straight on to the next junction, which is that one. So it should be about calculate about two hours to that junction. So I'd say about a three hour cruise. With this crap round my prop, probably more. There are narrowboats down there, look. Mm, that is posh, isn't it? We're going this way, Rippeth. Down the next one. Oh, that lorry's getting serviced, look. It's got the cab up. Walsall Street Bridge. Yeah, it is. Look at all this ancient history here. Like, you've got a little feeding chute there that will probably feed this loading bay, and some chap would have been in there. Loading boats and unloading boats, wow. What a fabulous bit of history there, look. I think, I mean, aren't we wrong? Now, a sad reminder, just shopping trolleys, adorn that entrance. A miserable, oh, what shop is it? Handy. Just a miserable shopping trolley. And a map going in the water. Bloody map going in the water nearly, damn it. Just a sad, crappy reminder. Hello, Swans, do you like it? Of the history. We've got the dreaded, little dreaded crap. Um, the dreaded weed and litter. Ooh. Oh, what has happened to that boat down there, look? Wide lot. Oh, I've gone really wide. What am I doing this going through this for? Uh, yeah! Get off me! Yeah, you know. What's happened there then? You know, somebody obviously moored up with those steps. Nice little mooring. Get away with it, you know, get out. And left it to rack, rack and ruin. It's an eyesore, isn't it, for the for the people? Now he's got a decent chimney on it. Right, let's pull over. What a shame. That could be floated easy, couldn't it? All oh, the interiors are best. Oh, it's horrible. That is a steel boat. That is a steel boat. It's just ground, isn't it? It's been grounded. It's funny, isn't it? Funny old world. New Arsenal Estate. Coot scrapping like hell. And a right good old tear up. Oh, he's trying to drown the other one. Having a right good old tear up. Where am I going? Oh, I'm alright for a minute. Having a right good old tear up. They are. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful smell. Oh, the magic. 
magic of industry. It's wonderful. Oh, what is that smell? Oh, scrappies. Oh, I love scrappies. Remember the old days? You climb all over the cars, you nick all the fuses, you take all the bits and put them in your pocket, and you go back to the front. You, what you got in your pockets? You know, a couple of fuses, and we'll go on and take them. Pay for the other stuff in your toolbox, all right. We've got court ones throwing tyres over, over the fence to my mate, wheels and tyres. Oh, how embarrassing. Fence butters! Looks like the, the cars are floating on an island somewhere, doesn't it? Fence butters! Like a very narrow section. Some lovely heights here or something. Urgh. Lovely location. All barred up though, mate. That's to show you the area, doesn't it? It's all heavily barred up. It's a tight section, climbing. Great parking, though. See so what I mean? The gate, gated. Oh God. Oh, cameras everywhere. No, we're in the right area. Looks of it. I can imagine this canal being horrible in the, in the uh, winter. Sorry, the summer. It's cute, all scrappy lot, but at the moment. I'm doing it now when it's quite a bit of water in the canal, you know. I'd never do this in summer. A bit of scum on the water, I don't know what it is. Like weed or something. Algae or. Oh, it's not very nice, whatever it is. A bit scummy. First scummy bit so far. Come on, boat, get me through. That, that was the first scummy bit, really. It's only a little tight, there's only a little bit of scum there on the, on the surface. You can see all bags and stuff in the water, but it's not, it's alright. You know, it's, you've got to expect some wind blowing trolleys. It looks very silty and shallow at the side, so you've got to expect a bit of in cities, you know what I mean? Because the wind just blows all the crap into the canals, doesn't it? I lost my thingy yesterday, I couldn't get it out, I lost my. Um, my plant pot on the front, it was blew in. I couldn't grab it and it just went under. Oh, I've got nothing to do about it, you know. I can't go fishing it out, never find it. It keeps bogging down a bit with the prop though, but oh, it's got some, something on it and I don't want to go in. Oh, it's going to stink, it's going to be cold. Be the burbler, yay! That is 10 score bridge. Now we're heading left in a minute down the Bradley Arm. It's been about two hours now of cruising. Um, it's been alright so far, pretty good. But dismal, it's dismal, of course it's miserable and dismal. Look at it, it's all brown, dark, you know. Fire's on lock, keeping Leon warm while he's working. Signal's very good though so far, you know, five bars. So that's a good that's a good sign. Good for working when you're cruising. That there, my fairy little friends, is the A463. Simple. The A463. Hello. I'm using. I'm coming up these canals. They're not. They're not easy canals. Nobody. Nobody wants to go on them. Um, if you don't start going on these canals, people, and it's, and it's been all right, perfectly fine so far. Um, you're going to lose them. Don't complain when these close down. You go, oh, I don't like that canal. We never went on it. So, you know, get more people down these canals and they'll probably flourish more and they'll get more services and more stuff like that. Hopefully at the end of this arm down here, there's going to be um, water and rubbish and stuff like that. So there are narrowboats at the end of this arm. So I'm hoping they're friendly narrowboats. I think CRT workshop, so it should be. It's a bit of scum in the water, which is not it's not the end of the world, but it's just like a little bit of that weed there, lot, like, see it? It's like that, it's that horrible weed you get bobbed down in. See here. It's alright, it's in little bits of it, nothing be off coming in, in winter along here I reckon. Not don't do it in the summer. You'd probably never get out again, you know, once you get in. People are friendly, I've talked to the locals. I always ask the locals, it's me again. I always ask the locals what it's like around here. Some will say oh, it's rubbish from their experience. Others will say it's quiet, it's quite nice. It's been quiet so far, apart from a mental. Oh, we're going to go left here now. Apart from that um, mooring last night, which was loud because it's a loud.
Cloud Junction, there's loads of roads all meet there, you know, and that got that roadhouse there. Yeehaw! Roadhouse! Uh, we're gonna go left now, right? I've got to concentrate. I'm just praying that this arm is not like the slough arm. Oh god, that was a nightmare. I'm just praying it's not like that, you know. This is the this is the area of Bradley, I think, because it's my son's name. I just said to him, I'm going down your arm, Brad. He goes, what do you mean? Well, it's Bradley Arm. Of the, uh, of the Birmingham Canal System. You know, all right. Just hope and pray it looks all right. It's okay. We've got a slow return. Deepfields Junction Bridge. There we are, lot. If you want to know that. The pretty people. this arm before I have to get it go in there because there's nowhere to moor up so I want to get more up at the end hopefully I can get in there I was going to persevere until then if it gets worse and worse I'm just not going to bother with these silver propellers I keep saying that I'm just I want to finish it I want about 15 16 now to get 20 you know I want to get three here that's 18 one in Lancaster that's 19 I'm always there aren't I couple of probably maybes that I've not done right or something. Mm. I'm gonna have to go in there, it's ridiculous. I'm not going anywhere, I've just been bored here a lot. Well I've just stayed here for a minute, drifting. I'm gonna go in, try and clear that prop. There we go. Oh god my hand is completely frozen. Oh Joe that's what we've got here look. Yeah. It's a lovely lot. That's nice. God, it's so cold. I can crack on. Well, that's got smooth running now. Bloody hell. It's half a bin full of plastic bags, fishing line, and all kinds of rubbish on there. My hands, oh my god, absolutely. Put my hands under hot, warm water and they just, you know, they get that aching. Oh, it's agony. <laughs> Got my gloves on now, Rippers. These are touch sensitive gloves, you can touch the screen with them. The cruising, it's not nice cruising, look. After I've cleared that, it's all weed. It's been possible in summer, virtually impossible. It's not the CRT that's encouraged us to do some propeller challenge, it's the written on inland waterways. Different company, you know, sort of sorting this out. We do get to see some really nice parts of the world that you wouldn't normally see. It's just a bit crap trying to get there. There we go, look. Silver propeller challenge. We're at the end now. There we are, we're back on. Silver propeller challenge completed. CRT workshops. Bradley works. No, we'll try and turn around. Been working out where I've been and how many I've done. I've done the Sheffield, done Ripon, 
Great Northern Basin on the on where is it? Nottingham. Come on, Nottingham, I'm just looking at you. Birmingham, Nottingham's winning on the M. There, done that one to the end. Coventry Basin. I've been down to Coventry Basin, I've done that one. Brandon on the Ooze. I've done the Brandon. I've done the Bedford. I've done the Home. That one there. And I've done that Boston, which is like a little lock you have to go in front of. I think it's front of. I've now done the Bradley Arm there, look, today. I've also done the Ellesmere Basin. I think that's one as well. I'm not sure, 100%. Skipped and I've done, but I've no access to the arm. It wouldn't let me down there, so I just took a picture outside. Um, what's this one? Standage Tunnel is that one? Or oh, Huddersfield Narrow? I've done that one. Didn't see that. Is Huddersfield Canal? What's that one I've done? There. Yeah. Rochdale. I've done the Rochdale. I've done the. I think a Standage Tunnel was one. All these locks here, one of those. I've been up there anyway. I have to look all these up in detail. What else? I've done. What's that one? Welsh Pool. The Montgomery to the end. Um, Bedford, Thetford, Bradley Arm, and today Slough Arm, London. Where's the slough arm? Did the slough arm? This was absolutely horrendous. There, I think it is. A horrible, horrible thing that was. Where is it? Slough, slough arm, there, lot. I've done Skipton Canal arm, yeah, I told you that. Pocklington, yeah. Standage Tunnel, yeah. Wendover arm. I think the Wendover arm is one. Where did I see that? It's on the on the Grand Union isn't it I think I've done that Wendover arm I'm sure that's one unless it's the Ellsbury if it's the Ellsbury arm they haven't done it oh dear what's that one that was the Slough arm wasn't it that one mm, home on the middle levels home arm on the middle levels which was uh, up here that one there I did Montgomery can on Boston Boston up there, I could have said before. There we are. So I think I've done about 16 so far. It's 20, I need 20. Hopefully, do another one tomorrow. And the one day after, that'll be another two on, around here. These ones. And then go up to Chester, do the one at Chester. Liverpool one, and do the one on the Lancaster. I think there might be two here. So that should be t enough to get me by, surely. This is the same day now, I've got to go in the prop again. I've got to go in there again, there's something else on it. Curse you canals, curse you. Are you mind up? 